Hey, this is Jessica Hammer, host of Crowned and Dangerous. Thanks for listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media. This is Baxter Colburn, host of Verse of the Day here on Public House Media. Thanks for checking out the following broadcast on Public House Media. Once you're done with that episode, I hope you'll come and check out my show, where I take one Bible verse every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I provide practical examples of what it can be in your life. We have guest speakers that join the program every Wednesday, and there's always something new to learn about your walk with Christ. You can stay up to date with Verse of the Day by subscribing on Apple Podcasts or on publichousemedia.org. Thanks again for listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media. By redirecting your thoughts, you can change your life. Welcome to Public House Media. Welcome to Choose to Rise. Today, I am with you this morning. My Kim, name is Kim Meyer. I am so glad that you're here. I want to say thank you to Public House Media for uh, just being a, a light and a vehicle for a voice. Um, for everyone has a voice. And when we can come together and share our voices and share the positive, uplifting things for other people to listen in, into and learn from, so much more positivity happens in life. So let's just start with this again. By redirecting your thoughts, you can change your life. What is your thinking doing for you today? Where are your thoughts in your brain? Where are you connecting with anything in the universe? Um, and what are, where are your thoughts taking you? What you think about, you create more of. What you think about, you manifest more of. And so by redirecting your thoughts, you can absolutely change your life. And so I want to ask the question today, where is your thinking leading you? And today, um, if you want to connect with me more after this, you can head over to choosedriseup.com. You can also find me here on Facebook where I'm tagged here on this Facebook Live. And um, hit follow, hit going along, join us in the journey, and let's see where it takes us. But today, today I want to talk to you about where is your thinking leading you? Your thoughts are the most powerful thing that you have. What you think about, you create more of. What you focus on comes into your life more um, more more prevalently. And I have another quote here from another podcast that I listened to. It says, if your your thinking is stinking, your dreams are shrinking. Your thinking is the navigation system for your life. And what you want out of life, you need to believe as possible for you first. Your thoughts stimulate your feelings, your feelings which influence your behavior and which lead to your life experiences. So it all generates from your thoughts. If you have big goals that you want to achieve, you first have to think about them in clarity. You have to get deep into the details of what it is that you want to achieve in your life. If you have big um, aspirations of achieving, you know, certain goals or a certain money amount or a certain job or um, certain life experiences, you have to think about them and know that they are real, know that they are a part of who you are and know that they're completely available to you. And then your feelings influence that. So your thoughts stimulate your feelings. And it's not just enough to think about what it is that you want. I could think about wanting a farm someday. I could think about um, wanting to have a million dollars someday. I could think about growing my team. I could think about having the life that of, of design that I want, but your feelings around that really t- are what t- are the fuel that take those thoughts into major action. So your thoughts around it stimulate your feelings. How do you feel about that? Do you feel icky about earning money? Do you feel um, good about the positive things that are going to happen in your life? Where, what's the emotion behind it? Because those emotions are going to influence your behaviors. If you have a negative, you know, like somewhere inside of you, if you think that money is bad, if you think that um, people who have money are not good people, then those feelings that you have about that will dictate your behavior into not allowing you to have the money that you want, that you say you think that you want, because you have these feelings about those situations. So you have to really think about what are your thoughts around the situation and the goals that you have for your life? What are the feelings that you have for that? You know, a lot of times I work with women this is like 90% of the women that I work with 
maybe even more than that, on their health and wellness goals, they think they want to lose 10 pounds. They think they want to lose 20 pounds, but their feelings about themselves and the effort that it takes to do those things, they don't feel enough. They don't feel worth it. They don't feel like no matter what they do, it will never change. And that's your feelings about yourself and your feelings about the positivity of your life and the feelings that you have around your, your situation will in influence your behavior. If you don't feel like what you're going to be doing is going to have any impact on you, your behavior is for you to not do it. If you don't feel like um, the, the situation is going to get any better, the behaviors that you have are not going to lead you to the end result that you're wanting. So the thoughts start the feelings and how you feel about it matters so much because they influence the behavior, the actions. Are If you want to lose 10 pounds, are you getting up and moving every day? If you want to lose 10 pounds, are you getting rid of the processed food out of your diet? If you want to lose 10 pounds, are you really going to drink more water than soda? The behavior leads to your life experiences. So when you are actually getting up and moving, you have more energy to do the things you want to do. When you are actually doing the the behaviors that you want to, if you're actually getting the job, if you're actually going through the school, if you're actually doing the things, the actions that are going to lead to the things that the life experiences that you want to enjoy. So your it all starts back with your thoughts. So where is your thinking? By redirecting your thoughts, you're going to be able to change your life. Where is your thinking leading you today? Are your thoughts stimulating the feelings of positivity? Are those feelings influencing the behaviors that you want to achieve the life experiences that you're going after? I hope so. And if you're not experiencing the life that you want, you have to re kind of back up and look at the behaviors of your life. Are you doing the things that are going to get you to this end result? One of the definitions of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. If you want different results, you have to do different things. So if your life is not where you want it to be, change the behaviors of your day, which changes the feelings about who you are, which changes the thoughts that you have every single day. I heard on a podcast recently that 70% of the thoughts that we think every day are exactly the same. 70% of the thoughts that we think every day, oh my goodness, that's a lot, right? But when you think about it, like you're on autopilot a lot. And when you can use that to your advantage of using those 70% of thoughts to be fueling positivity into your life and to believing and using affirmations in your day versus the negative things of like, all the the negative things that you think about yourself. I don't even want to go there. But like your thoughts that stimulate your feelings, which influence your behavior and lead your life experiences. And if you're really wanting to have something different in your life, you really have to think of the question, where is your thinking leading you? And change your thoughts to change your mind, to change your your state, to change your um, change your life experiences. If you like today's show, if you want to find more past episodes on, of Choose to Rise, if you want to connect with me more, head over to choosetoriseup.com. I would love to to connect with you there. If you scroll to the bottom, you'll find a connect with me section in that point. Um, Send me an email. Let's get connected and talk about how we can help you change your thinking to change your life and how we can also help you get moving and help you feel better about yourself and and your in your feel good about who you are, but also feel good um, just energy wise and have your body feel good because you're fueling yourself with good things. Food is fuel. And when you think about those things and the positive personal development that you put into yourself is helping you change your thinking, you're going to have a much better life in the long run. So thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful um, experience of life and your thoughts are good so that your feelings are good so that your behavior is awesome and that your life experiences are phenomenal. Thanks so much for joining. See you later.